In a recent video about climbing steep climbs, we discussed whether or not it was better to ride in the saddle or out of the saddle. The conclusion was that you should do whatever works best for you. But do you actually know what works best for you? I'm not sure that I could categorically say that I do. And so, seeing as we're in San Francisco, the spiritual home of the steep climb, we thought we'd do a little experiment. Which is fastest, in the saddle or out of the saddle? And yes, that is Jones Street, and it is a casual one in three, or 30%. Right then, here we are, run one, in the saddle. You, still, you sure I have to do this? Yeah. Touch and go. Getting up that in the saddle. I'm not entirely sure that's going to be the quickest. Only one way to find out. Round two, out of the saddle. It better be easier than last time, if I'm honest. If you do choose to climb super steep climbs like this in the saddle, then an excellent tip is to actually sit on the nose. Now it's not pretty, it's not comfortable, but it does make pedaling that much easier because as well as not putting your weight too far back, so keeping the front wheel on the ground, it also keeps your position relative to the bottom bracket the same despite the fact that your bike is now on a 30% angle. So it will make you go faster. If out of the saddle is your preferred technique, then you're gonna to need to make some fairly intelligent gear choices, more so than if you were in the saddle perhaps. And that's because when you're really laying down the power, you've got loads of torque going through the chain, it is very difficult, near on impossible in fact, to make safe gear changes, certainly using your front derailleur, but even your rear derailleur as well. So make sure you select the gears that you're gonna need at the top of the climb, at the bottom. And yeah, that might mean you're spinning a little bit quicker, but it'll be worth it by the end. Big crowd came out to watch in the end. Nice. Right then, what is the answer? Was it quicker in the saddle or out of the saddle? Well, out of the saddle. Perhaps unsurprisingly, but I was able to put out more power. And not only that, I was also in better shape when I got to the top. Marginally better shape, but I was. And it was significantly quicker. Anyway, make sure you give it a try. All you need is a stopwatch and a really dirty steep climb. Can't promise it'll be fun, but it might be interesting. Anyway, for some more tips on actually how to ride steep climbs, then why not click just up there and you get through to the video. Or to see the king of suffering on one of the gnarliest steep climbs of all time, Tom Last on the Muro de Aya, click just down there. And make sure you subscribe to GCN as well. To do that, just click on the globe, hovering somewhere above San Francisco. What a nice spot. <laughs>